You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio: Tales of a New Dawn. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it, guys. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining, and let's jump right in. Alarm sound, you're up, and let's go. Also, it's going to be my birthday tomorrow. Yep, I shall be 32. Big 3-2. I don't feel it, though, which is great. Anyway, current route, Diego's route. It's in, hey, written in stone. Let's do it. All right. What was this? Okay. Crying? You've been crying? Hey, Diego, are you okay? Yeah, fine. I'll uh, see you in a couple hours, okay? Uh, okay. I got a better look at him as he passed me by. The fur around his eyes was all damp and matted. He's definitely been crying, but what about? I decided I'd ask him about it once I got home. Like I said over the phone, we are not busy this afternoon. How about I teach you the basics of working the bar? All right. The last two hours of Diego's shift went by in a flash. Ty taught me how Ty taught me how to make most of the drinks he serves and even taught me how to make his famous pina coladas. Thank you again for helping me today. It's no problem at all. I wanted to ask you, would you mind terribly if we had a chat? Oh, sure thing. Come, there is a booth in the back which is free. We can talk there. The two of us arrived at the booth and sat opposite to one another. I'm sorry about this. I know you must be wanting to get home. You apologize way too much, Ty. What did you want to speak about? It is, well, about Diego. I see. I thought it might have been. He looked as though he'd been crying when he left. Indeed. The specifics of why are his business. I hardly wish to betray his confidence. Ty paused for a moment and scratched his chin, obviously pondering what to say and how, he sh how it should be said. I apologize for being so blunt, and please know you do not have to answer my questions if you do not want to, but I must ask. Do you like Diego? Of course I do. He's my best friend. I wouldn't have come all this way to stay with him if I didn't. Yes, of course, but that is not quite what I mean. What I mean is, are you interested in Diego romantically? It wasn't... Quite, it wasn't quite the question I was expecting, but one I didn't have to ponder about the, ponder the answer to. I, uh, yeah, I, I am. I thought as much, but I wanted to confirm for sure. Hmm. Ty was scratching his chin once more. Okay, please forgive me, but I am going to take something of a gamble here. What do you mean? I am one of the few people Diego trusts enough to talk to about more sensitive and personal topics. And the reason he was upset relates to something we spoke about earlier. I'm going to tell you what this is all about. For the time being, please keep what I have said to yourself. Do not let Diego know I told you, okay? Uh, okay. Diego is conflicted, and in a way it makes perfect sense after what he was, what he has been through. After everything that happened with his ex-partner, he is still very much wounded. I suppose rather than conflicted, he is scared. Scared? Of what? Scared of it happening all again. Scared of losing a friend. Scared of being hurt. Scared of putting his trust in somebody. You see, he feels very much the same way that you do, but his wounds are still quite raw. Oh, excuse me. The reason I asked if you liked him was to determine whether or not telling you any of this was ne if any of this was ne necessary. And now that I know the feeling between you both is mutual, I feel it is appropriate to tell you a few things that he has not said himself. His ex was not a nice person, not in the relationship context nor in general. He very much only cared about himself. And to him, a relationship with Diego was nothing more than a means to help him get what he wanted. It would seem he got what he wanted and unceremoniously cast Diego aside without the decency to give him any closure or even a proper explanation. In his mind, he was single for a lot of oh, for a lot longer than Diego had been. It took Diego finally mustering the courage to confront him in order for him to learn that himself. Oh, I see. That hurt Diego tremendously. Your arrival has served as a wonderful distraction for him, no doubt, but now... He has developed some feelings for you, or perhaps awoken some historic ones, and he is terrified of them. So I must ask, if you care for him as you do, as you say you do, please bear all of this in mind, and please, be patient. Thank you, Ty. I appreciate you looking out for him, and and me for that matter. Did, did he mention anything specific? Nothing that I can talk about, I am sorry. It's okay, I was just curious. Something happened this morning, I wondered if it was related. Something this morning? Do you feel comfortable saying more? Well, we sort of woke up together on the couch, spooning a bit, 
We got a little drunk last night, so I'm not even sure what happened or how we got there. Well, well, Diego was of the impression that you were not aware. He woke up just as I was figuring out how to escape. I figured it'd be much less awkward if, if he thought I was still sleeping. I see. Well, seeing as you know about it, I will confirm that was part of it. There were a couple of other things he mentioned, too. Things that happened last night in particular. Last night? He told me he didn't remember anything. And perhaps for the same reasons you pretended you were asleep. Oh, shit. It seemed Diego knew more than he let on. Unfortunately, I had zero recollection of anything that might tie into the discussion. Can you tell me anything he said? I am truly sorry, but I must not. I will let him fill in those blanks himself, should he choose to do so. I understand. I felt a little uneasy. I felt a little queasy. Blacking out was embarrassing enough on its own, but knowing something important happened and not remembering was so much worse. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about as well. Oh, shoot. Diego was always something of a drinker, but it would seem he's been drinking far more and much more often than before. Not to mention him working hungover at last at least several times a week. It, well, it concerns me. I worry that he is drinking to dull the pain. His habit seems to have grown out of control and it concerns me greatly. Now, I know better than anyone that getting between Diego and his drink is not a good idea, so please understand I am not asking you to stop him. Just keep an eye on him, okay? And be his sense and when he has none left, and make sure that he remains safe. That might be a problem. He's very good at peer pressure. He's very good at peer pressure when it comes to drinking. Indeed, which is why I want you to wonder why I want to give you this. Ty reached into his vest pocket and pulled out a small bag of tablets which he placed on the table between us. What are those? Roofies or something? Goodness gracious, no! Where would I even get such a thing? I don't know, I mean, you're a pretty mysterious guy. No, they are not roofies. They dissolve in liquid and contain a compound which breaks down alcohol. If you have to play along, put one of these in your drink and it will help you to keep a clear head. I've heard of these. They're not perfect, mind you. They will not keep you sober, only slow things down. But it should keep, but it should help to keep you, uh, give, help you keep a clear head if, if he, if needs must. Where the hell did you get something like this? I work in a bar. I mean, I guess, but have you used these on patrons? No, I have not. I have only had them because of one particularly problematic situation I was in some time back. Thankfully, I never needed to use them. I'm curious. Well, it is not so much of a story. One of the shareholders of the bar used to come in and drink often. He would become rather aggressive and uncooperative when intoxicated. If I ever tried to cut him off or throw him out, it would come with threats he very much had the means and rights to pursue. In the end, I had something of a financial windfall and was able to buy him out of his shares. Since then, he has, in, he has been banned from the premises. And I am most glad for it. I thought my conscience would survive putting something in a customer's drink, even if it was for their own benefit. But using it yourself? I do not see any harm in that. Hmm, I don't know. I'll try to avoid using these if I can, but... With any luck, I'll be able to talk some sense in Diego, but like you said, if needs must. I understand, and I wish you luck. Unlike most people, Diego will actually listen to me. Despite that, I, even I cannot dissuade him from a drink. Anyway, it is like I said, definitely not roofies. How you came to such a mad conclusion simply eludes me. I didn't know! Do you truly think of me so, think of me sort of the sort of gentleman that has roofies on hand? Am I, I am insulted! S sorry Honestly, I think I'd be pretty insulted, too. This, this dude is this dude I just met is like, Hey, are you giving this person roofies? And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry. It is quite all right. I'm only yanking your chain, so to speak. I think I have said everything I needed to at any rate. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. It's, uh, it's good to have a clearer picture of what is going on. With relation to Diego's former partner, I know you are most curious. Please do not press the matter. He will tell you when he is good and ready. In the meantime, please try to accommodate him and help him feel comfortable with everything that is happening. I will. Thank you for the advice. It is no problem at all. Please keep Diego out of trouble, and I wish you to the best of luck with the rest. Oh, and for what it is worth, I would be most pleased to extend the same assistance I have been offering to Diego to you as well. Should you need advice, or perhaps just a good ear, my door is always open. I might take you up on that. It sounds like I've landed myself in a complex situation. Having someone with your wisdom available would be very helpful. Ty chuckled warmly in response. I'm glad to hear it. Now, should you not should you should you not be heading home? I fear Diego may have fallen victim to the siren song of alcohol once more. Roger that. Roger Dodger. I arrived home to find Diego deep in a TV series with a tub of ice cream rushed to the top of his belly and a blanket wrapped around him. He looked rather cozy. 
Upon noticing my arrival, he threw aside the blanket and motioned for me to sit down, which I did. Hey, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. Making it so you had to come in your making it so you had to come in on your day off. It's no problem. Are you feeling better now? A bit. Damn hangover. He was trying to play it off as a hangover. I would have believed him too if I hadn't already learned what I'd learned. Well, I had no intention of letting Diego know what I knew. There was one matter on my mind that it was bugging me. Hey, Diego? Yeah? Um, are you sure you don't remember anything from last night? It's like I told you, I blacked out early. I have no idea. His story wasn't changing anytime soon, so I decided to try a bluff. It's just, uh, and just, it's just because, uh, a few things are coming back to me is all. Oh, really? Like what? For a table, he fired up the Starian. He got really excited when I ordered burgers. Huh, really? I don't remember that at all. Honestly, neither did I. I mean, I remember dancing, but, well, it was worth a try at least. Let's see. Table. Really? That explains the bruises on my calves. Either Diego generally didn't remember this fall, or he was still playing things cool. I have to try asking something else. Let's see. Get really excited when we're burgers. That's nothing special. I'm always excited for burgers. I guess he was right. It wasn't anything unusual for Diego details. I, I just, I didn't know just how much he remembered, so whatever I said needed to be well thought out. Okay. Huh, really? I don't remember that at all. Honestly, neither did I. I. I mean, I remember dancing, but, well, it was worth a try at least. So for, so far, this is a total bust. I had one last trick up my sleeve and a desperate one at that. I... I seem to recall things getting a bit heated between us. Hmm? Uh-oh. Uh, I remember... Wait, what? Really? That would explain the spooning and the underwear. Uh, how much do you remember? Um, bits and pieces? I was kind of hoping you could fill me in on the blanks. It's, uh, probably best if I didn't. Ignorance is bliss, you know? I needed one final push to get him to spill the beans. I decided to appeal to his sense of, comp of compassion. Diego, blacking out is scary on its own. It's even worse when you know something happened, but you don't know what. I'm really embarrassed and uncomfortable about the whole thing. I I'd just rather just know than to be left wondering. You understand, right? Even if it makes me more embarrassed and uncomfortable than I already am. All right, I understand. It's still kind of hazy, though. We had to talk about something. I think I was saying how nice it was having somebody around. Somebody I could actually hang out with, you know? Then they had gay sex. Night before. Oh, dear. Oh, flashback. Sweet. It's stupid. I want to. Oh, I want to hear. Well, was uh, Diego trailed off into a drunken slur. Hey, snap out of it. Oh, so sorry. Diego cleared his throat and sat up straight. I could sense his immense focus. What was I saying? Uh, what I was saying was, uh, I'm so happy you're here. Hey, not bad. You almost sound sober. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? But yeah, I missed you. Heaps. I always wondered if I'd ever see you again. I'm gonna give myself the hiccups if I keep doing that. Me too. I'm glad I, I took this chance. I'm glad too. Really glad. So glad. Hey, you can't be glad gladder than me. Ah, shut up and come here. Diego got off the couch and held out his arms out wide in anticipation of a hug. I obliged, only for him to squeeze me so tight I felt as though I'd pop. Ah, too tight. Oh. Diego released me from his suffocating grip, and I promptly slumped to the ground, coughing. Sorry. It's okay. Again, I'll be just <clears throat> this time. Promise? Promise. I stood back up and cautiously went in for another hug. Diego, thank Diego, thankfully, Diego kept his promise and was very gentle. He even rested his head on my shoulder as he did. It was a very tender moment. In some bizarre moment of drunken logic, I gave the side of his face a gentle lick. Huh? Well, why are you <clears throat> licking me? It's because you taste good. I do? Like cotton candy and uh, ice cream. Ice cream? What flavor? Hmm, <gasps> rum and raisin. You're saying it tastes like raisins? No, but you do taste like rum. Anyway, what I'm saying is you're delicious. Fun. Are, are you certain? Maybe you should have another taste just to be sure. Oh, oh my. Oh, whoa. Like vanilla. You calling me plain? I'm calling you d d delicious <laughs> Anyway, what I'm saying is you're delicious. 
the other one. Like strawberry. Hey, are you calling me uh, uh, fruity? No, but you are sweet. Anyway, what I'm saying is you're delicious. Diego seemed to ponder for a moment before delivering his response. Are, are you certain? Maybe you should have another taste just to be sure. It is the ass which caused him to giggle a little. Satisfied by his playful response, I looked again and again. Diego seemed to be enjoying his unorthodox bath, but I had dreams of grandeur. You know, we can't really be sure unless I taste you all... All over? Diego barely had time to respond to my statement before I'd pushed him down onto the couch and pulled his shirt over his head, tossing it on the floor. I began looking around his chest, tasting various different parts of his fur. I made a special point of actually Oh my god. Oh, that tickles! Eventually, I arrived at his navel and began looking all around his belly. Taking a look upward, I could see that he was in pure bliss. The smile on his face was confirmation enough. I stifled a yawn as I considered my next move. Diego seemed to be taking it all quite well so far, so I took a chance and... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nope. 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 I, I can't do that in this video. Uh, I don't have time to edit this video today. Guys, we are gonna... We're gonna cut it short right here. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling I'm probably gonna have to edit this if I go any further, so this is gonna be just a little tiny bit shorter today. Um, yeah, this video has to go up today, and I've got stuff I'm doing today, so I cannot, I don't have time to edit anything out of the video, so. All right, and I'd rather not have it age-gated either. So guys, we're gonna stop it right there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, don't worry, I'll pick it up soon. You guys know I'll pick it up soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!